Yeah, we've been talking a lot on this program about the cap on state and local tax deductions, SALT as it's called. The Treasury now says 11 million tax filers are getting hit thanks to that cap, SALT. Joining us now, Congressman Kevin Brady, Republican from Texas. Congressman, this was your idea. It's your fault. And 11 million tax returns are taking a hit. What do you got to say? So uh, I will say this is unfortunately, <laughs> and thank you for the kind welcome. Too, You're welcome, Steve. You're, You're always so cheery. Thank I'm you. sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I, it I'm is your fault. To, uh, no, actually, it is not. So look, uh, New York, New Jersey, California, Illinois, these are fantastic states, but they brutally tax their workers and their families. And as we now know, new study, New York has lost $100 billion in wealth over the last 20 years because they're chasing jobs and people out of the state. And the sooner all this new tax code did was pull back the curtain so those high taxes weren't hidden anymore. And so really, I think the whole New York, these states are growing fantastic economies. They're getting more revenue, but unless they lower those brutal high taxes, they're going to see more people leave. They're going to see less wealth in their states. They really do need to address this. Do, do you think there's, yeah, well, the only way they can address it is by lowering taxes in those states. Uh, and Congressman, they're not going to do that. That's you know, that, out of the I, question. I think I, I really think they don't have a choice. Look, uh, this country is very mobile. You're seeing you know, young people, millennials are, are leaving New York, New Jersey, Illinois, uh, despite strong economic climates, because it's just almost unlivable in some of these fantastic cities to live, especially middle class families as well. So I, I will tell you, I think the new tax code at the end of the day is really going to drive taxes over time down in these states because they're such outliers. I hope you're right, Congressman. I hope you're right, because I live in one of them. But let's move yes, on. Yes, I let's know you do. <laughs> you know I do. Yeah. Let's move on. The Democrats are pushing this Medicare for all. They've got their own plan. Am I right in saying that that plan, as currently presented, would take away the private health insurance the, uh, through our employers of 150 million Americans. Am I right in saying that? Absolutely. It wipes out all those private plans. And for most Americans, that's where we get our good health care at work. Takes that away, but it goes further. It takes away the children's health insurance program. It uh, takes away a number of other very, I think, good programs to provide health care. Uh, it also, uh, I think, jeopardizes Medicare for seniors by overloading it. And then, of course, uh, would require doubling all taxes in America just to get a shot at paying for it. So I don't think it's the health care people deserve. Congresswoman Debbie Dingell earlier today on this program said we've got to do it. Re no, she didn't say regardless of cost, but she said we must do something. So we well. We must do something to lower out-of-pocket costs. I think that's where Republicans and Democrats on the Ways and Means Committee are working together on lowering drug prices, for example. But, boy, this is not the answer. And if you think, here, Washington can't even keep its doors open. So you're going to put them in charge of your personal health care. Everyone in America is without a recourse, without another choice to be had. I think Americans are going to reject this in a big way. Uh, do you think I could move to Texas and do the show from there? <laughs> we, would, we would love to have you. Good or <laughs> New Jersey and New York can just lower their taxes and keep what a good man you are. It's far more likely that I'll move to Texas than New York and New Jersey lower taxes. But that's a day, another story. Congressman Kevin Brady, always a pleasure, sir, and thanks for thank, being with us. Thank you, sir.